It's uh, 11 o'clock on the 26th of April and in an hour it's going to be my birthday and to me it just made sense to do this video vlog now that might be masked, I don't know. Um, <laughs> one thing I've always found with everyone, the good, the bad, whoever, is uh, like there's a lot of hypocrisy. Um, I could, um, yeah, I don't really want to go into like specific examples, but you know, it's just like people say one thing and then and at some points do another, and so. And I know because I do it, like, I don't mean in any, um, like, bad ways per se, but just, it, it's just something I think a lot of people do. We'll give people shit for something and then do the same. The people, the people that have, uh, that say don't drink and drive are the people that on one occasion have driven home when they're really drunk, things like that, you know. Um... So what I wanted to start out with first may seem hypocritical, um, and it probably is, but there is a reason behind it, and it's the reason I'm doing this video now. Um, I didn't intend to do it, but just something something in my mind sort of seemed to make sense. So I've always said for all the videos that it's not about, it's, this isn't for anyone else, it's it's for me. Um, and that, that has been true, but this particular vlog I do want people to see and so the reason that I'm doing it now is because <clears throat> I get to obviously see the views on my YouTube and there's been a very hefty decline uh, I've done four vlogs so far first one got over 200 views uh, the second got 125, the third one got 132, so similar, uh, but a drop down. And then the last one has 69 views, haha, <laughs> um, and that's also considering that I did something with that one that I hadn't done with any other, which was I shared it twice when I put it up on Facebook. All the others have just been one time. But after three or four days, that fourth one was on 27 views, which is obviously nothing. Um, and so, yeah, I thought, like, oh, I want more people to see it, so I reshared it. Um, yeah, I, obviously, like, after a few days, a, a few people still might not have got to watching it yet and, and watched and then gone on to watch it. But, yeah, the, the second share, obviously, like, got it up to, to what it is now. But you can see, obviously, it's a steady decline, which, I mean, without wanting to horribly spell it out in front of people, just means it just sort of shows that people are less interested in in where I am and what I've got to say and everything. Um, and so, as I say, if it was any other kind of thing that I was going to talk about, I wouldn't care. But for this one, like... How, uh, I said in vlog 4 that I tried to do um, a vlog about Penny and like halfway through recording the camera cut out and all that stuff like that. So I just wanted to make sure that the one I did where I talked about Penny like would get at least more than fucking 60 odd people because When people stop knowing about her, that's when it it gets tough. So, um, remind me. I want to show you my my little thing. You might, some of you might have seen uh, my mum and dad have made boards of her with, of of pictures of her that they have in their rooms. Um, I don't think I want to do a board, a whole board, because I think. It'd probably be a bit upsetting seeing it all the time. But I've got my little 
thing over there, so I'll try and remember to, to show you that. Um, and as usual, I thought about like writing stuff down, but because this was a bit of a spur of the moment thing, I'll just say as much as I as I can remember. Um, so I think sort of the best place to start with just is what I'm thankful for with regards to her and what's happened since. So I'm very I'm very thankful for. Um, talking more with my family and that they were they immediately came again for those who don't know I've got two sis siblings that live in America and they both came over straight away and we were all together for a few days and even though it was a the worst reason to all be together it was it was great seeing them all again in person Uh, I'm very thankful for what Penny had while she was alive. Um, the close knit, um, her mum Lowell and Bernie and Tino did an amazing job because they had a they had a more than me. Um, that was always gonna be how it was. That they had her for five days and I had her for two days, give or take hours. Um, so yeah, her mum and her, her grand and granddad had her for a lot of the time, and they just did such an amazing job of her. Because she was just just like how I would want her to be. She was so polite, so funny. Um, yeah, just amazing. And that's all down to them. We did what we could, but obviously wherever you are, the majority of time you're going to pick up things the most from that place. I got some thank you cards that I wanted to take to the places where I went with Penny. Um, like Phenopolis and Shipley and... Um, I'd usually go to the, oh, what's it called now, the Noble Comb before that sometimes and yeah just just in places and to the uh, the children's ward and the BRI where she was for those last days um, but obviously when coronavirus kicked in it, it, some of those places are short and it doesn't make to, go, yeah, I should, makes no sense to go to a children's ward while this old corona lockdown is in UK, so I'll, I'll have to wait till that's done. Um, I'm thankful for everything I learned being a father, though I don't. Uh, consider myself that anymore and I know I haven't said it many times but the couple of times I've said it around anyone you know they do the the nice thing of saying like yeah you you always be a dad and I don't feel it I know that I'll always be Penny's dad but now I'm not you know I know it's very cut and dry and but that I, that's kind of how I am um, with all my sort of beliefs and and stuff like that so yeah just the, the physical fact that I'm not a father at the moment means I don't feel like a father so I'm a father so yeah please don't say oh you still will be you still are like because cause I'm not um, this is this is a really weird one that I'm like I don't feel scared about death anymore. I would never say like I was properly s scared of it, but you know, you obviously throughout our lives we think about that sort of thing and like, oh, what do we think happens? 
when we die and yeah I used to have like lots of dreams about like again not not in a not like a nightmare I wasn't scared about it but I just used to dream a lot about like our oh, finding out like the world was gonna end in five minutes and wherever I was like I'd be I'd be thinking like oh who should I go see who am I closest to in this area where I am that I can go see um yeah daft things like that really daft so I used to be really scared um so <laughs> see contradicting hypocr hypocr hypocrisy um yeah not scared but I, I used to worry about that kind of thing and now I don't I didn't do not give a shit. I'm not saying that I actively like would go out and try and do that kind of thing, but yeah, it's just yeah, I don't care anymore. Like if I, if, if you die, you die. Um, I appreciate lots of people have said like how brave you've been. Um which again i'm always like very 50 50 about because like on in on one side again i'm very appreciative appreciative of that and i thank him for saying so but at the other end it's like what you mean is well done you haven't broken down like you haven't cried in a public place or you haven't yeah had a meltdown or anything like I haven't seen you in a bad way so you're being you that means you're being very brave I don't know obviously I'm going quite far into it but it's kind of hard not to at the moment Uh, and I'm thankful for all the staff at VRI who did who did their best um, to take care of her. She got seen straight away, and I don't think there's anything any more that anyone could have done to to help her in her last days. I think it's something that every parent should know <laughs> and I'm still like I, I well might tell me differently but I, I'm pretty sure that her first word was was more um, it was definitely one of her first words and it was one that she used to say a lot um, but I'll never forget that her last word was please when I was in her room and with her and a nurse came in and I was trying to get to sleep and so I didn't I just laid down and just let the nurse sort her out and she said can I have some some milk please and that's 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 her to a T like she was so polite always saying please and thank you and again that's down to to both sets of grandparents and, and me and all just instilling our values on and I know it's always um, every parent always thinks the world of their child of their child that she really was like the oh, she'd have been so great at whatever she grew up to do she was so intelligent for her age videos of 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 books with with words and pictures in and like if she didn't know the word she'd still get if it was a if it was an eagle on an on a nest and the word was supposed to be eagle and she didn't if she didn't get it she'd say nest like she'd get the other things um uh, exercise like lol sent me a video of her yeah going through these pictures and she's just rattling off egg and thing and like two uh, two years old egg this that and the other and then just said exercise and it's like where she got that from like no one's ever said exercise around her she was just so smart yeah it's been As 
I said before, it's been horribly, horribly difficult. And I've got my core friends that keep checking up on me, and I thank, thank them for that very much. I still... I still worry. I still have groups that, that I see myself fading away from, be it from my actions or their actions. I've left groups and like group chats and no one, no one's, no one's asked what's going on and I have group chats where I tell them I, I, I put something up and just like no one responds to it and it's like, and I've always been used to that but now it's like really hard. So I'm going to go see her tomorrow. Um, I know it, it's not strictly in the uh, code of the lockdown as essential, but I haven't seen her in two months. And it, it'll be, it, it would have been her birthday next Tuesday. So I'll do it again then, and I won't do it anymore. And I wasn't really going to do it tomorrow, but it's, you know, it's my birthday and it's what I want to do. And I'm not going to have a fun day at all, so I might as well do something that I want to do. And that's good. So, yeah, I don't know, I know the places, I won't go into the details, but like the place where she's at might be shut. Um, I don't intend on like breaking any. I'm not gonna, I would I wouldn't it's in a field so it's not like you could you'd have to break in technically like but yeah if the gate's shut and you you're not allowed to go in I'll just park up nearby but I just need to be I need to go see her I need to be with her I'll show you the thing before I forget. Just in case no one's bothered. Um, so there's a couple of cards uh, that my mum and dad did for her birthday. Uh, or my birthday, sorry. Um, that's a donkey that we've adopted because she said honky all the time. That's from a memorial, obviously. That's when we went to Almost Famous. Went in the photo booth. Black and white photos behind as well. Um, her tags from the hospital. Uh, I'm gonna have a that's her fingerprints as a butterfly. I'm gonna have a few. I'll put up on the wall. Um, we've got some bigger ones with like handprints, uh, but I just need to wait for some stuff to arrive. Um, there's a rock that a couple of her, uh, her aunts did uh, their own thing in Brighton. Brighton. Um, those are, uh, let's see there, they're, um, the scan, you know, when she's in the store, my head's gone, uh, and her hat. So yeah, that's why I always, that's why I always keep there. Yeah.
I remember that last night with her. It was really difficult because it she had like a lot of tubes and if, if one of them were like the wrong way this thing would go off on the machine and it was happening like every five five minutes. So the nurse would have to come in and change like do some it and press some buttons and then they'd go out and then another five minutes it'd come in. Um so this was from like ten until about six o'clock in the morning. It was just constantly that. Um which obviously I didn't mind, I, everyone knows me, I'm a night owl. I was happy to be awake, happy to get on a bed, um, as it were, and get off again when she'd say I'd have, she'd had enough. And holding a oxygen mask near her face, not on but near. And um, yeah, so when she was asking for milk and stuff, I was like, I was on my seat, and it was like a sofa, so I could lie down. And I just thought I'll just try and get to. I need, I need a bit of sleep, and she's okay. The nurses are watching her. So I think I got, I slept for about fifteen minutes, and then I woke up to that siren, and it was like those really piercing ones that you get on some radio alarm clocks it's like, mm, mm, mm. and there were two other uh, kids and families in the room with us but when I woke up I, was, I knew it was theirs and it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life having to I just broke up and looked and she was just there. And the nurses came in and like started CPR and whatnot. And then the other one said we should get you out of here and like I just was in silence, like couldn't move. Just walked out. And then I remember another one went off, like none nothing had gone off at all, like while we were there. But as soon as like, I got outside the room, I remember another one went off. But they were saying like it wasn't, it wasn't anything. It wasn't a kid. It wasn't anything bad. It was just a mechanical issue or something. I don't know. It's uh, again, it's the daftest thing. That I was thinking like, oh well, at least there's not two going on. At least there's not fucking two kids dying right now. It's still just so hard when I hear these kids over the road or when I go up to when I go for a walk around Eaton Hill. Past houses and you can just hear kids shouting daddy daddy, mummy mummy. I think that's it. Um, yeah. <sighs> Thanks everyone for seeing her. Some of you didn't in two and a half years. I guess you're lucky. Easier to forget and you don't have to put a face to it or you don't know the person in question.
And I didn't cry for the video. Amazing. I cry all the time. Every day. So, yeah, you understand if I don't reply to any messages tomorrow. I just want to go out here and that's it. And I'm going to know that Tuesday, next Tuesday is coming up, so I probably won't be talking much this week. And yeah, it's going to be a horrible, horrible week. And so yeah, this is the last one. I don't, I don't. There's nothing more to say now that I've just done this vlog, talking a little bit about Penny. I don't like talking about her in the past tense uh, when we've been to counselling meetings or like if if someone in the family or. Your mum's family. I've always found it very hard because I guess it's accepting what's happened, you know, referring to in past tense means that, you know, it's gone on. And I know, I know it's happened, obviously, but I just don't like it when people say, like, oh, you remember when she used to do this, or you remember when she used to do that. So. Maybe, maybe I'll get better at that over the coming weeks and months. Yeah, all right, okay, I'll just show up now. Uh, yeah, thank you for everyone that's watched this one, whether it be 20 or 200. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you when lockdown finishes. It was a wit. I know, I know. Just starting and stopping, starting and stopping. It's really weird as well. Like I find it really easy to lose uh, myself in like when you've got something on. Whether it be like our pub quizzes we do with Ben, or um, video chatting with Damon Isaac, or even like the memorial, like I do. At Salem and stuff like this it's really easy for me to lose myself in whatever I'm doing at the moment painting the room playing guitar whatever so it's like it feels weird that in the times that people see me I'm not like expressing any sad emotions really because I just, as I say, I just, just go into what I'm doing. If it's funny, I'll laugh. But, yeah, when that's not happening, it's really sad. Uh, I'll leave you with one. This was really wonderful kind of thing that I have to deal with now. So, like, um, we were doing this quiz and one of... Uh, so it's, he, Ben's great and he does these really funny quizzes and you know there's a lot of ones where there's like silly answers or whatever um, so it's like what are these three things and like it, the flavours of uh, Monster Munch or it was this or something so one of them was uh, flavours of condoms it was really funny trust me um, so there were like 12 people 12 people on it so I, I was like making a joke I said to Ben like 
um, I really want there to be like <clears throat> a couple here that have like seven kids and they're just like what what what's a condom you know like as a joke and then obviously he does he doesn't know uh, he said like um, well there's and then counted and like three sets of parents here so hope like all f whatever he said all three of them should know what a condom is or something like that and then he, when he said that I was just like oh fuck like I'm not I, I'm not I would have been it would have been four but no nah, it's three it's just the fucking smallest things <laughs> so you just hold it in wait for a new topic to start and then you move on as I say Ben I'm, it's not that wasn't your fault I'm not holding anything against you it's just the kind of normal chat that I have to get used to but yeah so before I start growing that's that's that, that's it thank you anyone who's watched and take care and as I keep saying no matter how hard you think it how, how hard it is during this time it could always be a hell of a lot worse so be thankful